Welcome back to Fantasy Football by Committee. Powered by Flurry Sports. It can be tough to win a fantasy league on your own, but at FFBC, we will work together to bring home the hardware. Hosted by Zach Bruner and the rest of the Flurry Sports crew, we will give top-level analysis, answer your questions, and, well, go off on other tangents. That was after I tried to get ChatGPT to admit that 9-11 was an inside job, but it stood firm. It, it gave quite a few solid points that it was true. Welcome to Fantasy Football by Committee. The show starts in three, two, one. Number four, Jaleel McLaughlin. Talked about him. Obviously, we have a video on our YouTube channel about him last week. A uh, big article on Flurry Sports about the Javante Williams injury and the McLaughlin fantasy value as well. They play on a short week. I assume Javante Williams will play this week. I think he was just held out because of the short week. They'd rather have him against the Chiefs than against the Jets. So um, downgrade McLaughlin in your mind because of that. However, like I said in the article, the video, and all of the above, I think, like Sean Payton plays favorites to a fault. And uh, this rookie, McLaughlin, is one of his favorites. So he's going to be on the field. He's going to be used. And I think as the season rolls along, I mean, there's a strong chance he works up to a round a 50-50 split, right? But even last week, with Javante Williams out, he played the same number of snaps as the week prior, which, you know, yes, he had a good day. He had a good day, nine carries for 68 yards, still only nine carries. And then he had that touchdown, 21 yards receiving and a touchdown. So touchdowns through the air back-to-back weeks. I think he can be um, a pretty good receiving weapon as well. Obviously, Samaj P. Ryan, a good receiving weapon. Samaj P. Ryan, a better pass blocker. Maybe that's why he was on the field more often. Um, but yeah, McLaughlin is nothing more than a flex with upside going forward. Truthfully, like I think it's going to be a three-way split still starting this week because I think Javante Williams is back. And then, you know, he played a third of the snaps with Javante Williams out. So limit your upside. I think he's very talented. I think Sean Payton loves him. So I don't think he's going to disappear, but this isn't the guy you need to go crazy for. He, he's going to be limited. He has to be limited. Has to be. Not has to be. But he's going to be limited. A third of the snaps with the starter out. Shouldn't get you excited. Look for, at snap counts. Look at stuff like that for more context. Don't just look at the fantasy point output and make your judgments on Jaleel McLaughlin. Love him as a player. As a fantasy player, pump the brakes a little bit. Flex with upside. And not even really a high-end flex. He's like a low-end flex, and you hope he scores a touchdown. 